trading stamps are not something new, but in this case, the purpose for their collection is. All over the country, millions of the stamps are saved and contributed by Catholics and Catholic organizations, schools and hospitals. The object, to bring hope into the lives of hundreds of crippled and sick children. Children for whom medical science, even in its most sophisticated form, can do nothing. Children for whom perhaps only a miracle can provide an end to their suffering. Children like these. Courage is a personal thing. So too is faith. These children boarding the jet, for which trading stamps have paid the charter fee, have an abundance of both. Their destination is Lourdes, the town of miracles in southern France. But while this journey is a pilgrimage to a Catholic shrine and its healing waters, it is also a holiday, the first for many of them. This is Lourdes, a small town at the foot of the Pyrenees, where 111 years ago, a young girl, herself very sick, claimed to have seen a vision of the Virgin Mary. Inexplicably, a spring bubbles through the earth nearby, where water had never been before. That water is said to have miraculous powers of healing. That is why they come. Millions have preceded them, millions will follow. The young, the old, the sick, the lame. Those for whom faith is all that is left. Explain them if you can, call them what you will. But miraculous recoveries have happened here. They still do. Not instant recovery, perhaps, but the transformation from despair to happiness in being alive. From all over the world, they come to this sacred place. They pray, they bathe, they collect the sacred water to take back with them to the suffering who could not make the pilgrimage themselves. For many, their journey has meant years of self-denial, of saving for a pilgrimage that would bring them nearer to God. Everywhere about, there is evidence of suffering. Yet over the town of Lourdes, there is an atmosphere of peace, hope and happiness. An order left behind by a young girl called Bernadette who once had a vision.